At the end of one of my live Photoshop schools, um, we were talking about selections and kind of trying to make the task quicker. Uh, in Photoshop school on the academy, we basically run the kind of the topic of the day and then I usually hang on for questions and everything else with it. And uh, we often get into the masking and so on with it. So um, I'm, I, I made a suggestion that we kind of use the uh, mask all uh, tool. Um, what we're basically seeing here is masks that have been created by AI in Photoshop uh, in exactly the same way as we're seeing here. Um, so basically the uh, original image is this, and then what we've done is um, added masks in for each one, but I actually haven't done much of the work in here at all. So if we just uh, go into file and uh, into revert, this takes it back to as the image was opened in Photoshop. And all we really need to do is go into the layer and here is mask all objects. Now Photoshop is uh, in the AI, it's going to take a little bit of while because this is a hungry image at this point, because what it's going to do is create three different masks because of the background, in other words, the sky, the sea and the sand. And then it's going to create another three masks as well, one for the guy, one, one for the woman and one for the dog. Um, and obviously in the family shot we just saw a minute ago, that was even more. The benefits of this now, if I want to create like a gradient effect on the uh, sky or I want to actually do a kind of a gradual difference in the sky to the sea to the sand, um, if I um, kind of work my way from the top to begin with. So when we talk about uh, image mapping, we talk about what do we want to darken, lighten, change and so on. So if we kind of work our way through from the top to the bottom, just because of the master there, if we click onto the um, new adjustment layer, and we click on levels. At this point, I have got the dog layer uh, is uh, adjusted. Now, these are empty groups anyway, but it automatically puts itself within the group. Yes. So all I'm going to affect now is the actual dog. So if I say I want to lighten the dog, as I'm doing, okay, uh, that's exactly what I've just done. And then I select the woman and I can go through and select another uh, levels adjustment and I could make her a little bit darker. Now, because I'm a lazy devil <laughs> and I don't want to kind of click on the um, new levels adjustment all the time, I can either make an action for it or if I'm just here and I want to do a quick task, just pressing the Alt key, dragging it down to the next level, uh, layer um, group, I should say, and then it basically applies the same look. So I just applied exactly the same look to the guy as what was on the woman by just Alt dragging down. If we do exactly the same thing again, so if we Alt drag down onto the sand, uh, this is going to be a lot darker, of course, yep. But we might want to move the highlight up just to give us that little bit of light in there as it kind of catches the shore. Once more then, we'll kind of drag it onto the sky. Sky is going to have a totally different look, so we want to take the whites back down again, take the actual uh, midpoint to deepen that sky horizon more. And then the only one we've got left to do is actually the C element. So if we just drag that down onto the C, in this case, you can see the power of what we're doing um, is because we've got those kind of pretty defined areas going on. We could do a very quick fix to an image. Um, and, you know, we have dramatically changed that photograph um, in the likes of Photoshop. And one of the benefits of having adjustment layers um, is we can go in and actually change it. So if we don't want the guy quite as dark as we made him, we could actually push him a little bit brighter in the shadow, or we could just actually increase the lights overall to give a bit of a haze element and things. So for this image, I'd work slightly different. In fact, let's just press the F12 key to revert and um, to fix all the white backgrounds. That's a different technique that we're kind of showing. So to do that, I just really go uh, Control J to basically duplicate the layer. So I've always got a kind of a copy of it, yes. Um, then just in here, I'm just going to put in a new layer and press in D for default just to make sure that we're um, putting black on top and white um, as a background. And I've just pressed the Control and the Backspace to kind of fill that with white. Next thing I want to do is select my top layer, 
just go in and grab the kind of the lasso tool to begin with. And I'm just getting rid of the flats, yeah? That's all I'm doing. So uh, again, at this point, I can just hit the delete with it or the fill layer. Uh, if I want I want to, it's, it's technically just down to what is the best way. If I hadn't duplicated the layer to begin with, then I'd have to uh, kind of fill it as it were. What I meant was if I hadn't put that white background in behind, because if we see it, what I've done is actually be cutting them out here. Uh, but realistically, it's only the mucky floor that we really need to actually get rid of within the image. And um, to do that, we don't necessarily need the masking like we're doing. But what it would be, if this was a big group and I needed to go in and individually mask these people, then I would hit the actual mask layer. Let's just uh, quickly finish off the... Um, fix here for one second. Um, and now let's go in and hit the actual mask. Okay, so just want to kind of get rid of the top here and the bottom. There we go. Now we'll go into layer and we'll go into the mask all objects. At this stage, it's going to, you know what it's going to do? It's going to find every single person in this group and it's going to create a selection around them but it's also going to create a selection of that floor for me. So um, if you've watched any of my Photoshop school before, I would tend to actually fix it in levels uh, and then kind of do that quick fix, as it were. I'll show you that now um, to kind of lo lose it. But one of the benefits we've got here, if you've got a big group and you do want to make that adjustment overall, then we can. So what I meant was I would duplicate this level uh, this layer again, so Control J, yes, that duplicates the um, image. Then we're going to go into Control L, and at this point, all I'm going to do is uh, reset the white point to uh, a, a level that I need. In other words, a whiteness that I need. Now you can see it's burnt everybody out here, um, but all I'm going to do now is hit the mask and B for brush. Uh, D for default, make sure X as well till you put black on top. That's just pure habit, of course, yes. Um, making sure we're in the normal mode in any kind of brush tool. And then we can go ahead and we can kind of bring everybody back into the mix. So realistically, the mask all really hasn't had much of an effect because they're all pretty much illuminated the same. But if we say, well, this guy here is slightly darker than uh, we want. If I select his adjustment layer, uh, mask I should say, and then I click onto the levels adjustment layer and I just brighten him just a little bit first in the gray and then more in the white. So it kind of lifts in the contrast. I could pretty much do the same with this girl on the right hand side here, I think. So if I, once more, I just uh, grab it and I push it up to uh, her, then I can do exactly the same, but not add as much of the kind of the uh, gray point adjustment that we've got going on. And I could work myself the way through the group, especially if you were working uh, with a small light and it wasn't feathered and you found that one end of your group was very dark and the other end of your group is very light. You could use this technique um, without any real trouble to help solve some of that problem. But I'd always encourage you to do it photographically before anything else. So uh, as I said, um, re really what we're doing here is um, uh, allowing ourselves to move from one thing to another with quick fixes. And uh, I think the beach shot really um, kind of emphasizes uh, the technique of basically coming up into the layer and hitting the mask all ob objects.